Hi, Pisces. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for the month of July. Uh, please check out the new moon video. It kind of gives the uh, the feeling of the whole month. Okay. I hope you're well. I hope July is lovely for everyone. Mm. Okay. I offer private readings. I offer healings. I offer um, tarot classes. Tarot classes, I think, are going to start again in the fall. Meditations. Five of Wands. King of Wands. Oh, Five of Swords. King of Wands and Queen of Cups. You show up in your own reading. Well, the Queen of Cups is, you know, I mean, look, I don't read, I don't, I, I don't read like Queens are women and they're a certain A. I don't read like that. It's like it's an energy. But traditionally, the Queen of Cups would be a Pisces, a Scorpio, a Cancer, you know. All right. So the five. This is interesting. I always say that. I need another word. I'm teaching English now, so my English my English vocabulary needs to uh, improve. I've taken responsibility is what I'm getting. I've taken responsibility for my thoughts and my feelings. I've taken full responsibility for both my thoughts and my feelings. That's the opener. And I am going to cut out what no longer works, whether it be thoughts or whether it be, you can't really cut out feeling. I mean, you can, but it takes a lot of effort. I'm going to use my mind. I've taken responsibility. I'm going to use my mind more when it comes to how I feel. Like I'm going to invite it in more often. I think. Yeah, well, and then I get your card. Because I don't want to only be led by how I feel. Okay, this is for all you empaths. <laughs> and I know and all, nearly every Pisces I've ever met is an empath. <clears throat> because I've taken responsibility and I'm using my mind, I'm taking what works and I'm not taking on all of your stuff because it leads me down a road that is not good for me, that is, is full of an illusion and a feeling that's not mine. I don't like that. And I'm just going to share that, like, as an empath, it's really important what I watch. It's really important what I surround myself with. Really, really important. I don't watch violent movies. I don't watch horror movies. I don't watch the news. I don't watch things that upset me. I don't watch things that make me feel badly. I, you know, I just don't because it affects me. You know, it, it, it's like being allergic. It, you know, it's like being allergic. I'm allergic to something. I'm not going to eat. I break out in hives. You know, it like it could affect my body. It could affect. Well, that's exactly it. So I'm very, very, very cautious and reserved and protective of my energy. Very. And I, it's just part of having that, you know, it, it's rude really because we can pick up all that stuff and it's like, what road am I going down? So I, I mean, for me, I mean, I like to learn things. So, you know, I watch, I watched all these other things. I watch geology and 
geography and history and um, things like that. I mean, th that's what I like, you know, or you watch things that, you know, make you feel to, like if I watch, sometimes I watch a singing show things, but not the show. I just watch performance because <laughs> I don't want it like, oh, like maybe the one I like doesn't go ahead. I just want, I watch a performance. It makes me happy like that I, because, oh, well, how do you go through life? We all go through life like that. We all make choices about what we want to surround ourselves with, what we want to see, what we want to hear. We all do that. And if you're a sensitive like you are, then you need to be really protective of your energy. I've said this to you before. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm also, for me, I'm able to like be around it because I have a sort of, like I could turn it on and off. I know how to turn it on and off. I don't know how I know, but I know I do. So. I live in Mexico City, if you don't know, and I go into the middle of Mexico City, and it's a it, it's a freaking shit show. I can't even begin to tell you. It's insane. There's so much, so many people selling so much stuff. I know a lot of people don't like that, but I love it. And, <laughs> but I'm very protective of my energy. I'm like, I don't give it all out. I don't take in everyone's, you know, it's like I'm walking around the whole place in a bubble, my own little bubble that sort of automatically kicks in. I mean, I'm really fortunate that I have that. But, you know, if that's what you'd like to do, then, you know, develop it. Ask your angels and guides to help you develop it. I know I'm off topic now, but, you know, couldn't help myself. All right. Yeah. So she's happy and tranquil living in her garden, in her walled garden. Not everyone is invited. Not everyone is invited. So a friend is coming for dinner. And um, and I'm, you know, I'm grateful. And she saw someone that is a mutual. And she's like, oh, I don't know if I should invite her. Mm -hmm. Glad you didn't. Really glad you didn't. Gracias. And it's a watch the watch the video, the new moon one. Boundaries. Like that's the that's the the theme of the month. Boundaries. Right? If there's somebody in your periphery or in your life, it's like you really there's something about you that really, I don't know makes me annoyed or work harder or angry or anxious so don't hang around them or you know if yeah you, you know so you, you have to like don't overdo it don't you know do it for as long and as much as you have to and that's it all right because that's what's going to heal you and you know take care of yourself financially take care of yourself physically and make your own garden grow that's what i'm getting look at this got a lot of characters around you don't you all right so you know i don't really read the, the cards as characters but some people do and i you know i honor that you know we all have our own style let me show you the characters to be with and the ones not to be with okay you want to be with him because he's really loving and really kind. He's a really good listener. Okay. Um, you want to be with her to a, to a certain extent because she could smother a little bit. That's what the negative side of the Queen of Cups. Okay. He's a really good guy because he takes responsibility. He owns his side of the street. He doesn't take on your thing. He doesn't take on anyone else's thing. He takes on his thing. And he's really creative. Okay. So he's a good one to hang around with. This one could be a little mean because he's all in his head and he can cut, cut, right? So you don't want to be around him. She is lovely to be around for a while, but she's reserved. Okay. Maybe that'll help you. I don't know. I never really read like that. But, you know, I go on different tangents, everyone. I'm going to stay my ground. I'm going to stand and stay my ground. 
right? Stand and stay my ground meaning, means I know the difference between my thoughts and my feelings, and I'm going to dig into that. I'm going to develop this because it'll help me uh, move through the world in an easier, um, more efficient way because he's practical. It's really practical. And the people that I decide to walk away from and the situations that I decide to walk away from so that I can go from turbulence into tranquility, uh, like that's where I'm going. And the key to this card is they don't turn back. They don't turn back. It's lots wide. And that's the energy, you know, that like the, I think the, the metaphor and the lesson in Lot's Wife is um, that's over and done. And then this yearning, this, um, oh, things were better than, I miss my old life, my old friends, my old body, my old, it's gone, it's gone. There's no point, you know, because then you're living in a non-reality. Then you're living in a fantasy. Then you, it's a Mrs. Habersham. That's the key. It's like, I've left the turbulence, the emotional turbulence behind. And I'm moving forward into a place that's more calm. And I am not going to turn back. No. The other thing about that card, you're going to like this because this is really witchy. I always understand um, this is not his wife. This is his mother or mother-in-law. This is how I understand the card. And she is guiding and leading. And she's the one who made the decision to say, we're getting on the boat. What about leave the luggage? We're getting on the boat now. So uh, what I get in this one is matriarch who's very loving and very wise that's guiding you. And a lot of times I understand there's someone who's deceased. So, you know, it could even be your neighbor right? Like this really kind, loving neighbor you grew up with or something who passed away. And, you know, it's that, you know, so, you know, traditionally it's your mother, your grandmother, your aunt. But, but it, it, it's, it's a feminine matriarchal energy that is um, guiding you. So tune in. You know, my, my mother has been dead a really long time. And, um, uh, you know, every so often, or well, some of she comes on invited plenty of times she comes on invited to tell you the truth. She was like that when she was living, so she's like that when she's dead. Um, <clears throat> what should I do? Ma. Ma. <laughs> what should I do, Ma? So, <laughs> there you go. Uh, anyway, that is my reading for you, Pisces. And it's really about, and this is, this is a muscle and, and a way of looking and dealing with the world that can really, especially Pisces, even more than Cancer and Scorpio, right? You're, you're so, you're so in there. But, uh, you know, you, you don't even try and it just comes, you know, other people's feelings and thoughts and this and that. And the world we live in, you've got to live in a little bit of a bubble, honey, because otherwise, you know, you can go down that road that is like, it, it's so freaking crazy. On occasion, I watch a little geopolitics on occasion. And I mean, there are so many nation states that are right on the verge of collapsing. So many, 
so many. It's just kind of surreal. It's really kind of surreal. So, you know, you pick up on that stuff. It's like, geez, you know, you never, you'll never get out of bed. Right. And, you, and you, you know, your job is to get on with your life. Your job is to like have your life, not somebody else's. Your job is to live in freedom. Right. And enjoy. Right. And if you uh, are constantly picking up everyone else's energy and everyone's crazy. More than ever, you know, fear, fear, anger. Is, oh, so protect yourself. OK. All right. I feel like your big brother. I always feel like Pisces big brother. It's really how I feel about it. Right. And I have um, Chiron and Pisces. Perfect placement, right? <laughs> All right. Let me show you. You've listened to yourself and you want to love yourself, but take responsibility. So you're going to go and think your own way and cut out the thoughts that don't work anymore. And allow yourself to go down the path, but only pick up what you want to pick up and build on that. Move forward with the help of your ancestors and guides into a place that's more tranquil because that will serve you in this world on this plane. That's where the healing is. So you have the opportunity to build your own productive, beautiful, limited, walled garden. And she's as happy as a clam. She's as happy as a clam. The thing about the nine of um, pentacles, she doesn't need anybody. She really doesn't need anybody. She's quite content. She's got her bird. She has her fruit trees. There's a couple of animals around. She's as happy as a clam. She really is. Happy as a lark. Is that what they say? Is that the other one they say? Happy as a lark? Happy as a clam. I was teaching that to somebody. And they're like, why is that? I'm like, I don't know. Maybe because a clam, you know, when you look at a clam, it kind of looks like it's smiling. Self-contained. It's self-contained. And um, it looks like it's smiling. I don't know. Maybe if we, if we put our own words on it. Anyway, um, I am working on making enough money to get the cataract surgery. I'm, I'm making progress. If you'd like to help, I have GoFundMe as below. I offer readings, I offer healings, I offer meditations. Take me up on everything. Watch every video I've ever made and like and subscribe. And tell your friends to, too. Um, and I'm continuing with Tarot Tuesdays. And I'm really glad that I, I picked it up again. Because I really like it as a series. And I think it's helpful and educational. And um, huh. So have a lovely July. And now it's time to get to cooking. Yay! All right. All right. What do you want to make it? So I have, okay. turn off the video. I'm making chicken breast with a mustard sauce with a little bit of um, rosemary. Make a mashed potatoes with raw onion. You make a little bit of diced raw onion into it. And I only, all I use is salt, obviously. Uh, butter and milk. Butter, milk, salt, raw onion. Done. And uh, peas, and I'm going to use the, the mustard sauce on the peas as well. Sounds good, right? Green pea, I love green peas. And I have guacamole that I bought, and I have some decent bread, maybe a little like sliced tomato, right? A little, because it's a little, I don't know, I eat tomatoes every day here, it's so good. My friend is bringing dessert. She's like, what should I bring? I'm like, anything but peanut butter. I like every other dessert. Anything but peanut butter, and I'll be very happy. So that's what I'm doing. And um, that's that. All right. Blessings, blessings. See you soon. Bye.